on this video I'm going to show you why we need classes, custom classes. So here my main let's say I need a player so player P equals new player and the name of this player is gonna be Grievous and his health is a hundred so player is a custom object is a custom class that I made and P is an object so once I create the object I can just come to P dot um, let's say on a print status I don't know what's happening on that player and let's run this program now so I run and I set the player, I created the player and then I print the status so notice that in two lines of code I achieve a lot so let's keep on going so if I want my p dot let's say I want to update health and whatever health it is right now I want to subtract 20 now if I want to know this status again I want to call this function from this class and that does two things so the first thing it did is set up it created them the player and it gave some status and then I updated the health of the player on this line here line 12 and then on line 14 I printed all the status again so we can also create more than one object based on this player class so now let's create a second player so player p1 in this case equals new player and the name of this guy is going to be Joe and for whatever reason his health is going to be 150 and let's say that the, the player P1 gets shot in the leg so when that happens I want a P1 and I want to update the health and I want to take 30 health away so if I print the status of player 1 who is, happens to be Joe, his name is Joe then I'm going to have a different results. notice that I'm using the same class so the class player and the class player with two objects object P and object P1 so even though I'm using exactly the same code they're different player because they're different objects so let's run this so here it is, so I have Grievous which was my first player the health is 100 and then Grievous lost some health now health is 80 and then I create another object and the name of this guy now is Joe and Joe started with 150 health and then got shot in the leg for whatever reason lost 30 health and if I print the status again of player 2 then it goes back it goes down to 120 and you can create multiple multiple players the point here is that with one class you can instantiate as many objects you want players the class P is an object player is the class here again and P1 is a different object now with few lines of code we achieved a lot we did a lot and that's the whole advantage of the player class or that's the advantage of creating your own class so the next video we're gonna take a look on the player class so the player class is made of class variable a constructor 
in a series of functions that we can use over and over again.